Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and today it's time for another episode of Castle Story. In between the episodes, I have played a couple of hours for myself in order to get some progress going on. And you can see I finally set up a couple of pylons in order to get more light during the night. That was also a suggestion from the comment section, and I think it is a nice little touch. I've had plenty of brimstone to waste, so what I also did is I set up a couple of these sentinel pylons right here, four of them, and they actually help actively to eliminate the enemies. As you can see right now, they are like the artificer, just crazier. Also, I rearranged this part right here by setting up two healing wards. And I set Sandra once again to offensive stance and put her right there, because I thought or felt like it is enough with the defense, just with the knights. Another thing I had to do is I had to extend this wall a little bit. For some reason, some of the enemies were trying to go through here and they actually broke the wall, so I just strengthened it a tiny little bit. Of course, we've also made some progress here on the top. We're almost halfway through. Now, just digging this away is like a, a seven hour project. I don't know. This has been crazy so far. But it is working, as you can see. One thing I just have to make sure is that we always keep placing a couple of blocks so that I don't have too many. So projects like these are actually perfect. Let's see how we want to continue this. I have to be able to get up here, I guess. And then we just want to do a staircase-like pattern. This way we don't have to put down scaffolding and we slowly but surely will have this done. I still have to do the trees on the other side, but to be honest, at the moment I'm quite lazy. So I think I want to tend to another building project that is a little bit more fun to me. For instance, we have a nice building site right here. The question is just, what do I want to build? We could think about moving the smithy stuff uh, over here into a real smithy. On the other side, everyone is helping at the moment and we're making such good progress. So I'm not sure if I want to waste this potential at the moment. Yeah, I really would like to get this done. They have been really fast with this last digging job. Let's try to dig some more over here. Let's also go ahead and actually continue with the flooring right here. I just have to make sure we are using what we got. Right, one thing I'd like to finish is actually this edge. We have to dig up all this terrain. Hmm, I'm a little bit undecisive on uh, what we could do, but I thought maybe something like a tavern slash inn would be nice to have here. Uh, we could have the entrance here, so we could take apart some of that shebang. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. Let's go ahead and start building the foundations already. We can do the surrounding. Do we want to leave something in between? I do believe so. Let's see, we would have a pathway that is too wide, something along these lines. Well, it's not a pathway really, it's uh, gonna be the entrance of course. So let's make this a little bit wider. And then right here, we would like to have a door. We're gonna take a slight curve here and I kind of want to integrate this into the wall, I think. So we can go into this direction as well and we move all the way up to here, maybe. Yeah, let's do something like that. And here I want to, I guess, remove this guy and this one as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and start building that already and see what happens. Also, we could spawn another Bricktron, but I feel like with every Bricktron I'm just worsening the frame rates. Of course, we also have a couple of Bricktrons just standing there, doing nothing at the moment. Let's see, we have to destroy these two guys, have to add the other plugs. There we go, that actually went pretty fast. Now we're gonna choose the plug with just one side. There we go. This way we have a proper entrance. I'm probably gonna end up putting a pillar on top of it or so. Ah, okay, we're done with this part right here. So, um, what is happening? Why isn't that set? I think I wanted to do this. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And how far are we gonna go? Maybe one more block, something like that, all the way. Ah, uh, no, let's do it right here. That ought to be good. Beautiful, okay. Now, how to make a couple of windows. I want to make sure this has like two stories, but also windows, etc. So maybe let's just do the second row for now and see what happens. Right, I'm gonna make two more rows and then we shall see if we can poke out a window. There we go, four rows in the joint. Let's see, we want a window in this vicinity. 
That means I'm gonna add one. Ah, I cannot have it here. So I have to put it one more block to the side, I guess. So what if I removed this one? Okay, this would work as a window. We could add a block here and there. Great, that's what I want to do on this side as well. So we got two windows, perfectly symmetrical. I'm gonna add one more right here, of course. Now let me see, what would be the center? Probably this one here. Yeah, I like that. That is great, actually. Right, I'm gonna leave this side empty so that we can make a staircase upwards. Let's actually see, we want to leave a little bit of space and then, whoop, go upwards up to this point and then I'm gonna try to make a second floor. Uh, it might not be a, a classical second floor, it might be something improvised, but I'm gonna think of something. Let's just go ahead and start building this, see what happens. We are doing good progress here with the terraforming, that is great, and now we can finally use up the stone again. We have accumulated plenty of stone, as usual. Okay, this is absolutely insane. I've let this running for, well, uh, approximately five minutes or so. There were so many difficulties, they are so freaking inefficient. Look at this guy, he's going around here and then coming here just in order to get to the stockpile. I just don't understand. They have a perfectly fine pathway right there. Like eight people are taking over the job, but only one or two people know what they're doing. They are using this as a staircase at the moment. This is insanity. Also, I got a piece of glass trapped in here. This is gonna be there forever for the rest of this gameplay. That is uh, kind of sad that I didn't realize that, but it's fine. We will survive it. We will survive it. Here they go again. I think I just have to wall this off for this not to happen. Maybe if they have to jump over one block, then they will choose the more logical way, <laughs> which is going through here, but whatever. These guys can be happy that they are so cute, otherwise I would be very mad. Very mad indeed. Ah, okay, now it's coming along. For some reason they picked up pace once again. Also, everyone with the brick is actually placing it at this point. I'm very proud of you guys, very, very proud. We still have so many bricks, man. I feel like we are using them up so quickly and still we're getting more and more. So I'm glad once this terraforming process will be done. This has been crazy so far. I, I wouldn't recommend you doing it, guys. Oh, it's starting to become nighttime again. What a beautiful sunset. What would be awesome is a wooden flooring here, but I don't think that is actually possible. It would be great to be able to place a block of planks. Let's actually do some testing. I'm just gonna place this X block right here temporarily so that I can do some testing with the scaffolding and then maybe we can come up with a, a good flooring here. I already know that it is kind of possible on top of here, for instance, and we might have to dig away a good portion of the floor. But let's actually see, what else can we attach to this? For instance, could we do the planks? No, it doesn't look like, but maybe we could do a brace and then a plank on top of that. Nope, not really, not really. Okay, we could build up a wooden column. Then could we attach a brace to this column? Okay, that is possible. Okay, that makes much more sense. Ah, okay, hold the phone. We can attach these to my poles. Okay, how far can we do that? Just too wide. So that is a possibility to add the planks. Let's see if we can add a ramp also. That is great. The ramp can also only go too high. If we build a wooden pillar right there, then we could extend this ramp. Let me see, right there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, so that is a possibility how to build the scaffolding. Ah, okay, so I could cover a cross such as this, for instance, with the wood. But then, can I keep attaching stuff? No, not really. Yeah, and I cannot fill everything out with crosses, but what I could do is have a couple of beams next to each other. So maybe let's start right here. This is exactly one, two, three, four. So if we brought this to here, we have to remove all of this shebang here. I'm just gonna do it up to this point. This could be great, I mean, for an inn, Wooden flooring is preferred, in my opinion. Oh, what we could also do is just build a couple of stockpiles. That is actually also great. Just, uh, you know, keep them empty. And it does look like a wooden floor if you have it everywhere. 
This would be much less complicated. What do you think? Yeah, I cannot really make this connect. I could only do it if I added stuff like so. But then how to fill out the other things? Let's actually get this already started. Stockpiles right here, please. Maybe that is not the best idea frame rate wise. All right, stockpiles are coming in. I want to make sure we keep these clean. We're also done with the terraforming process right here. So I guess we're just going to move it once again and dig away the next little area. Uh, and I don't pay attention for one minute and look at what they're doing. Storing stuff. I, I hate that. <laughs> just store nothing in here. Keep empty. Don't overproduce. Why is that so difficult? Wait, take that stone. Take it away. I don't want to see it anymore. And you, what are you doing? <gasps> That's so funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> take these plants again. Binovre, take these. Come on, I don't want them. What are you doing, Bistro? I I have no stockpot. No. Wow, this is incredible. Okay, I think we're done. The nightmare is more or less over. Let's make sure all of these store nothing. Great. And now, you guys, empty these. You, take the glass. Put it somewhere else. Just drop it over there. I don't care anymore. Okay, I can live with what we've got so far. I actually had also another idea. What if we just stored the pylons in here? That would actually be a great idea. So we have one for the sentinel, then we would have one for healing wards, and so on and so forth. We just go through all of the colors. Pylons, and last but not least, it even adds up perfectly. We have one for the capture ward. So now I can actually also overproduce them a tiny little bit. Does this look like wooden flooring? I'm not 100% convinced, but you know, it's better than nothing for the time being. Let's uh, dig this away and exchange it with stone. And then what about the second level? This is the big question in my opinion. I'm not exactly too enthusiastic this is gonna work out the way I want it to, but one thing we can definitely do is for instance this and... come on. Jeez, that, right? But this serves absolutely no purpose. Hmm, yeah, I'm not so sure, but maybe we can do something here with a half floor or so. I'm gonna place some more pillars right there, and then we have the planks. Let's see, connect this up, beautiful. And then we need another pillar. How to fill up the center, though? Ah, this is the junction to go from a ramp to a straight panel, okay. Well, at least that makes sense. Dude, what is going on here? What are you yapping about? Oh, some of my warriors got knocked away. That's fine, we survived it. Well, let's continue right here into this direction. I kind of uh, want to finish this. Let's continue this pattern just a tad. And I guess we're gonna go up to here. That actually makes sense to me. Connect the, this one. Thank you very much. I guess we are gonna continue. Now we can see how they look next to each other. Yeah, that would be the perfect flooring. Well, it doesn't look too shabby. It doesn't look awesome either, but I'm happy with it for the time being. Let's switch to a couple of normal blocks. We still have to fill out these and these as well. There you go. And then we start building that and see what happens. You know, maybe I'm also gonna get rid of it once again. It really depends. Oh, a good thing is they can actually build a four high pillar uh, without any scaffolding. So that is great that you don't need scaffolding to build scaffolding. Well, one more thing we should do before wrapping up this episode is finish the flooring. I'm gonna start with the entrance here because I also want to build a door. And I guess we actually have to get rid of uh, these blocks because we will have to kind of make the overhang, the arc that goes above the door. I really wanted this to be an inn, but right now it does look more like a storehouse, to be completely honest with you. Not entirely what I wanted to see. But anyways, we're done here. Let's go ahead and start the flooring pattern. This is just the entrance pathway. And then, uh, let me see, where are we gonna have the door? Actually here, I think here is a good idea. Good, good, good. And then of course, functional parts door. The door should go beneath uh, the first block. So right there. Great, I love it. Let's build this. And the last thing we gotta do is exchange the rest of the flooring here with stone. Now, I should have done that before building the pillars, thinking about it. Yeah, I definitely should have replaced the floor before that. Holy cow. The project needs to be done. 
Uh, Bashir, should I spawn you in? I guess why not. Why not? Okay, <laughs> that didn't work entirely like I anticipated. But we're, we're getting there. We're totally getting there. Wanna add a block right there. And I think, yeah, there was one more here that we needed to do. Great. Okay, okay. Let's wrap it up with these two blocks. We're not completely done with this building just yet. I want to do something here, something arc-like. Maybe we can actually already do that. That shouldn't be too much of a hassle since I have it two blocks apart from each other. So we can just add the arc. And we're gonna do this on the other side as well. And I guess we can continue it for one more block. Something like that. Let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna round it off nicely in my opinion. Are we done with the terraforming already? No, but they got themselves trapped again. And what did we have here? Leaves. <laughs> oh man, I have the stuff everywhere. Well, let's see this arc happen, make a nice screenshot, and then we're gonna wrap it up. This has been another hour of recording so far. Yes, golf, you can do it. You can do it. Place it. Yes. Okay, just one more block to go. No, no. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, you little, little morons, you. Okay, great. This looks amazing. I love it. Now, let's try to get a nice moment for a screenshot in. Good, I guess let's call this the inn slash storehouse. I don't know. We will see, we will see. Uh, Bashir, didn't I spawn you previously? I thought I did. Oh, okay, so he actually died. <laughs> That's fine, we have to make sure that our warriors are going back to their positions. There we go, guys. With that out of the way, I would say we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.